<laughs> it's been a while since we were in making a, a proper record. When I lift it up and tilt my hand like that, sharp pain. No, it's all in the hand. But I'm functional. And I'll take it off, I'll play guitar, everything so will be fine. Let's pound. Pound it. Yeah. Pound that shit. Ed's had a really good writing session. I added a little tune as well. Damn, it's gone. I'm gonna park the beast. I think we're starting to make records more frequently now because I don't know, it comes it's coming natural. This has been the easiest, most stress-free writing period of my entire career. I've never had a writing experience so devoid of uh, frustration. So with this particular batch of songs, Ed has written songs that we could stretch out on and try some different approaches, and it's been pretty rewarding. It's really fun and really fast, but really good. Working with Gavin again, we just kind of have the, our, our, a rhythm, and we just kind of fell right back into it. Let's start again. I'm not sure about how that, should I just, is that right? Mm -hmm. Just yeah, just hold it. Like yeah. Goose egg. Yeah, okay. There's enough form happening <laughs> okay. with the guitar and what and we'll also... find it. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. Take the dog for a walk, Jimmy. <laughs> when we started this record, Ed had uh, some very developed demos from uh, the songwriting process and then also some non, some just basic him in a tin can sounding acoustic guitar in his, in his house. Pretty crap. Um, the songs are great. Both of those things work. The ones that are developed, you know, there's a roadmap maybe to follow, you know, and then you veer off and find your own way. And then the ones with nothing other than his voice and the guitar, it's an open book. It's gonna be great. There's really no rules. Just make sure the performance is good and uh, you go from there. Modern music making, man.